Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Before I get into my review of Archie Comics Darkling one-shot, I wanted to give everybody a progress report on the SJS Direct 2024 catalog and the comic scripts I have been working on. Now, the SJS Direct 2024 books, Isis Dark Incubus, John Haynes Illuminati, and Steam Horror in the Hamptons are all complete and I've done all of the editing and the page layouts, and all of those books have been uploaded to KDP for me to get ready to do the pre-orders coming up next year. And I got the cover for John Haynes' Illuminati from Bill Walco, and I'm just waiting for him to send me the sketches for Isis Dark Incubus and Esteem Horror in the Hamptons, and he's also gonna be doing a refresh on the first Isis book, cover Isis Omari's Revenge. So I'm just waiting for Bill to get back to me with the covers and the SJS Direct 2024 catalog will be ready to go. Now with the comic scripts, I've got the Isis All That Glitter script. I'm, I'm cutting that down. I cut down two pages out of that 50 page script and I'm tightening it up a little bit more. And I find that again, resting a script, you can find where you don't need to add so many pages. You can trim things down to tighten up the story. So with all that glitters, I'm in the middle of checking that script over and trying to see what I can cut out so that I can try to lower the cost for possibly doing this comic with an artist. And I'm also just finished the Beauty Myth script, which is about 63 pages. I'm letting that script rest before I take another look at it. And with all of that said, I'm gonna get into a review of the Archie Comics Darkling one-shot which I have to say is one of the best comics of 2023 and puts a fresh take on one of the coolest characters to come out of the Mighty Crusaders. Now, the Darkling was a character who came out towards the end of the days when Archie MLJ superheroes were out here and the MLJ heroes were the Shield, the Web, I believe the guy's name was the Hangman, the Fly, and they were making up all of the Archie comics heroes. And these heroes have come and gone. They've had their first launch in the 70s. They did come back in the 90s under Impact Comics. And they came back, I think, in the late 2010s, where we got a story with the Shield. And the Darkling character was one of the cooler characters, but she never really got a chance to really stand out in all of the Archie MLJ revivals. Now, Darkling came out towards the end of the Archie MLJ era of the 1970s, and she was an absolutely cool character with a cool cloak who could drop objects in the cloak and was an absolutely fun character to read when she made her appearances in books like Mighty Crusaders. Now, the Darkling has made appearances in other Archie books as she's been revamped in recent years to be a goth heroine, and this goth heroine has had run-ins with Archie and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Archie Comics has decided to see if there's an audience for this character with this one-shot, and this one-shot basically takes this character and makes her fresh for the 21st century, showing us how great a character she is in this absolutely fantastic, well-done story. Now, what caught my eye was this cover, because I was out here putting in an order for the Bill Walko covers for Sabrina's House of Mystery and some Archie books and some Josie books, because I always like supporting Bill Walko because he has fantastic art. But this Bruce Tim styled cover caught my eye. And when I saw this variant cover, I just said I had to buy it because I just love the post that is similar to that of Vampirella number one. And this fusion of Bruce Tim style art and a Vampirella pose, this is what really was the thing that got me to go pick up this comic. And yeah, this is a rare one in 250 variant 
But over here in my, on SJS Direct and Sean James, I go out here and I read my comics. So I don't really care that this book is one of 250. I'm going to be opening up this bad boy and reading it and giving you guys a review. Now, I've read this book at two times, and Stadium Comics did an excellent job of packing this book. I mean, they packed it in uh, bubble wrap. They packed it in two backing boards in between. I mean, this book was heavily protected to keep it in pristine condition. And I, as a guy, again, I'm a guy who reads comics, but I had to read this comic, and I'm glad I did, because this is one of the best comics I've read in a long time. And I have to say, Sarah Kuhn and Car Carola Borelli did a fantastic job on the writing and the art, and Ellie Wright's coloring really sets that dark mood for this comic, for this Darkling one-shot that has me really looking to read more about the story of Darla Lang. Now, Darla Lang is the girl who is the Darkling, and she was found on this doorstep of an orphanage, and as she was found on that doorstep of an orphanage wrapped in a cloak, she's basically been bound to this cloak that has it where she can control putting objects into another dimension. Now, this first page does a fantastic job of introducing us to Darla Lang, the goth girl who's going to college, and this goth girl going to college wants to find the spell that will allow her to finally be free of this cloak. So, in one page, we get a great introduction to the main character. We find out what she wants to do, and we get a reason to care about Darla Lang, the cool goth heroine, and her quest to break free of this spell as related to it being binding her to this cloak. And while I'm always all about splash pages on being the first page, this one does a great job of using panels to open up, to introduce us to this main character. And this real, the structuring of this page is absolutely fantastic because in one, two, three, four, five panels, I like the way this page is arranged because it basically opens up, lets us get to know this character, lets us know what she wants to do and why should we care in just one page. So this first page is strong and very solid and just very well done by the team here as related to structuring a page and letting getting us into a comic. Now, after Darla's latest attempt at magic winds up failing to separate her from her cloak, we're taken into the main conflict where these girls who are at the school, the mean girls, are arranging some sort of slumber party that ties into a mystery over at Ivy Hollow, Hollow regarding these the mysterious disappearances of girls at the school. So there's a great little mystery here in this comic, and we get a nice sequence of how Darla Lang beca became bonded to this cloak and her main reason for going to this school. So everything is very well structured. Again, in less than three to five pages, we're into the story, and we get introduced to another character, an Asian character, Phoebe Hayashi, who is a true crime cod pass person and who wants to get to know Darla and be her friend as, as related to the mystery of the cloak and the mystery of the disappearance of the girls. Now, I don't want to give away too much of this comic, but I would have to say this comic is exceptionally well done and really reminds me of, how, of the modern takes of comics like manga and the YA books that Scholastic produces. That's how exceptionally well done this comic is. The storytelling in this comic is very well structured, and in less than 22 pages, we get reintroduced to Darla Lang, we get reintroduced to Darla Lang's story, and we get a reason to care about her. And at the end of this book, I was eager to see more of Darla Lang, and I'm hoping that Archie Comics will go out here and give us another Darkling one-shot, because if, we, if this one-shot is as strong as this one, we really have a solid character here. And the Darkling character was one of the better characters over at Archie and MLJ. And she's showing that she can stand on her own and carry her own book as related to the direction Archie has been taking in as related to horror characters. Now, the Archie series, Archie Comics, has been doing some great work with horror characters. And the Darkling's horror story 
is one of the best ones as related to that turn, as related to the genre, and the writing here and the art here are exceptionally well done. I mean, this comic could stand on its own as its own series, and I could think it would sell very well because there's a lot of notes here similar to what I've seen with Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charmed and other kinds of stories. And as a guy who writes these kind of stories in the Esteem and Isis series, so I know what a good horror comic is and a good horror story is because I've written several of them. And this one is a great gothy horror series that would be great for readers of all ages. And everybody can just come into this character story because this first one-shot issue is a great entry point that introduces you to the character, helps you get to know her, helps you get to know her mission, helps you get to know what she wants to do over the course of the series. And this overall book is one of the best comics of 2023 exceptionally solid writing from the creative team of Sarah Coon and the line art by Carla Borelli. It's just absolutely fantastic work. And the variant cover that drew me in, this, this variant is very strong and has me eager to see more stories with the Darkling, which shows me how bright a future she has as a character. I mean, this, the Darkling has a bright future as a character if she has this creative team on her because this creative team has done a fantastic job of taking an old character and making her fresh for the 21st century and giving her out here and showing us that you can see a great comic and enjoy a great comic in this 21st century where you have many comics YouTubers complaining, oh, there aren't many great books. Well, here's a great book I highly recommend you go out here and get. I mean, whether you get the standard vi version or the variant, or only 250 copy version like I did, this book is one that you want to sit down and read, and it's the kind of comic that will have you reading it till the cover came off like I did back in the day when I was out here collecting comics as a little boy. I would, when a comic was really great, I would read that comic until the cover came off, and this is the kind of book that will, you will possibly be reading over and over again because you'll be picking up on brand new things, so I see a bright future for the Darkwing over at Archie Comics, and if they continue to make great stories like this, featuring this character, she could become the big star she was poised to be way back in the 1970s before MLJ sadly wound up folding. She could go on to finally actualize her potential as the great character she is with this type of, with this creative team. And this comic, again, shows me a start of a very promising direction for a underrated character who finally is getting a spotlight shine on her darkness and showing us how much light she has as a heroine and how great she is as a character with a overall just great and fantastic story. So I highly recommend you go out here and pick up Dark the Darkling one shot over at Archie Comics. I'm going to leave a link to that on page on the website and on the cut in the description box and you guys can go out here and find out how bright a future the darkling has at rg comics now if you want to pick up some of the comics i have produced over here on the sjs direct imprint like john haynes at death's door you can get your own paper copy at lulu.com right now by clicking the link in the description box and if you want to pick up my first full comic I did with Go Walko Esteem No Good Deed, you can find that comic on Kindle for 99 cents. Or you can go out here and pick up the Esteem series book, Esteem Blast from the Past, and get a full paper version of that comic. Now, I want to do more comics on the SJS Direct Imprint, but I can only do that with your help. Again, right now I have... A, two scripts featuring the goddess next door and I want to do an Isis comic to go along with the Steam and John Haynes comic books and I can only do that with your help so if you guys can go out here and send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal or the Cash App that will help me get that much further. I'm getting closer to being able to start laying out the budget for the next comic and every donation will help me get to that point. And I also use those donations to also go out here and support great comics from great comic creators, whether they be indie or mainstream, like Archie Comics, 
and those donations again help me to be able to pay for great comics like the Darkling One Shot. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, easy horror of a hyena woman. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a wicked werewoman in this action-packed all-new E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam Horror of a Hyena Woman in paperback and e-readers today. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, E-Steam The Sands of Time. It's action and adventure in ancient Egypt in this terrific teen time travel romance. Get your copy of E-Steam The Sands of Time at your favorite online bookseller today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.